Hello, hello, and welcome back to another video. Today we're back, but we're back with something a little bit different. So the plan for today is to react to all of the boss music in Genshin. Now there's a couple of reasons I've really wanted to make this video. The first one being some of the boss music in Genshin is actually my favorite music in the entire game. Also, I don't know if some of you guys get this as well, but when you're in a really tense situation, like a boss fight, you don't get to properly appreciate the music in the background just because you're so concentrated on the fight itself. And I am an absolute lover of music in games and films, and they can really make or break the film or game for me. So I'm really excited to just sit down and appreciate all of the music from all of the boss fights. So just before we begin, I am gonna leave a spoiler warning here. I'm gonna do all of the bosses in order. This is gonna include Mondstadt, Liyue, and Inazuma. For those of you that aren't quite sure when I'm gonna move on to a boss that you might not have seen before, I will say obviously beforehand what boss it is, but I will also state when I move Moving on to the next region. That way, if you've not been to Liyue yet, and I say, right, now we're gonna do the Liyue bosses, you know to leave. And the same goes for Inazuma. Okay, without further ado, let's listen to some music. So of course we're gonna start with Mondstadt. Now the first boss we're looking at is Davalin's theme as he's the first boss you come up against in the story. Now I haven't really heard this that much other than during the weekly battles I believe. So this is gonna be really nice to go back to and properly listen to without concentrating on anything other than the music itself. Oh, I love the instruments used in Mondstadt. I'm gonna say this about every region. So good. Oh, the build up. God, you pick up on little things that you just don't notice. Oh, yes. I love vocals. Vocals are they're just too good. It's beautiful. You can tell this is Mondstadt as well. Oh. oh, it's so good! Ah, oh. oh, that's so awesome! 
That is so awesome! That reminds me so much of Horizon Zero Dawn, if any of you guys have played that game. It's just, it's beautiful with the vocals. All of the instruments used are so obviously Mondstadt themed, and I love that about Genshin, how even the boss music is related to the area that it's in, and that's so important when it comes to designing. Just anything in a game is making sure not only is the environment right, is the music right, anything about the situation has to be related to the area in order for you to be fully immersed and they really did such a good job with the music and how it's it sounds like Mondstadt it's you can imagine it's Dvalin as well. So next up we have Andreas of the wolf boss music now this one is phase one of two so we're going to listen to phase one and then phase two. This track was actually one of my favorites at the start of the game I really loved this music when I heard it for the first time. So as I said this one is phase one. Oh, I like that. Again, vocals. I love vocals. <sighs> oh, that's so mysterious. has an icy theme to it as well. It's so awesome. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. There it is. There's that like drum and bass sound. Oh, it's so good. It's almost like it shouldn't be there, but it, it just works. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's a piano in the background. It's so good. Oh. And that's just phase one. Oh, so good. Yeah, as I said with that one, it has that like drum and bass in the background that just feels like it shouldn't be there, but it just works and it's so good with how they've incorporated the piano into it as well. As I said, vocals are always a win for me. I'm very curious to listen to phase two now and see if this one has a similar feel. If I remember correctly, it just amps it up a lot. So now let's listen to phase two. Oh, strong start already. Yes! You guys better be jamming to this too. It's 
so many details you miss when you are so concentrated on other things. Goosebumps. Instant goosebumps. So good. The clock sound. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, that's menacing. Absolutely phenomenal. I loved that one. That was so good. As I said in phase one, it really gives you that icy feeling with the piano in the background and it, it just gives you the atmosphere of the ice wolf. It's so breathtakingly good. Okay, so we're moving on to Liyue now. So if you haven't made it to Liyue and you don't want to be spoiled, make sure you stop here to avoid any spoilers. So the first one from Liyue is going to be phase one of Child's Theme, which I'm super excited to listen to. So without further ado, let's listen to this. Oh, immediately that switch to that Liwa style. I love it. I love the Leo instruments as well. Oh, 
Oh, the switch up. Oh, I love how child this sounds. <laughs> Again, so many details I missed. Amazing work. Beautiful. Oh, I love that. I love, as I said, I said that right near the start of the, the track. It sounds like Child, like when you listen to it and you get the relation to the character that the theme is for, then you know it's done right and it's so good. I love the switch up as well with the dramatic notes there. It was just so well done. So as I said, there is a phase two to Child's boss theme. So let's listen to that one. I remember this one being so intense. I love this already. I, I remember when I did this, I had my mind blown. Yeah, just as I remember. Oh, this is one of my favorites for sure. Ah, oh, the use of that. So good. Again, very childlike. It reminds you of child. I love it. So good. Oh. Again, little details. Oh. Yes! Oh. 
Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. I love that one so much. What we'll do now is move on to... This one isn't in the playlist, but there is another boss in Liyue that I would like to include because it does kind of count as a main boss, I think. And I think it does have worthy music for this video. So if Child was the last boss you fought, I'm going to give you another slight spoiler warning as we're going to be talking more about the story. So once you've beat Child in the story, you end up going through the Rite of Parting and then as you go through the story a little bit more in Liyue, you start having more to do with your sibling. Now there's one boss in here that I think counts more as a mini boss than a main boss, but I definitely think the music warrants its spot in this video. And that is the Abyss Herald. Now I remember listening to this actually when playing the game and I thought it sounded amazing. So I'm really excited to go back and listen to it without all the distractions. I remember it being like really sad at the beginning because of the situation, but then it just goes off. Absolutely beautiful work. There it is. It's so menacing and I love it. Oh, it's short and sweet, but it's absolutely fantastic. I remember when I first heard it, it stood out to me so much that I even remembered to actually react to it now, even though it's not in the playlist. So after the Abyss Herald, we're actually moving on to Ejdaha now. So Ejdaha isn't in the main story. He's in a character story. However, this is going to be phase one of two once again. I'm super excited for this one because I remember Ejdaha's being very notable as well. I can't wait to listen to this without all of the eruptions and earthquakes going on around me. <laughs> It sounds so royal. Ah. It's so grand. Goosebumps every time.
Oh, I just I have a smile on my face. I can't. It's it's so good. It's them vocals as well. The vocals. That there, it's so... I don't think there's words to describe that. Again, that's also one of my favorites. Asia Hearts 1 is just so grand. It's royal. It shows you how impressive he is. The music alone tells you how impressive and grand Asia Hearts was back in his prime and still is now, even in his suppressed state. And it's just so good. It's so well told. As I mentioned, there is a phase two to Asia Hearts theme. So before we move on to Inazuma, we're going to listen to this one first. I love that the phase two is just kick it up. It's like, oh, you thought phase one was impressive. Nah. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing. <laughs> Again, that royal sound. In incorporating that Lewa sound. Imagine Shin Yen on this. Ooh. Oh, that guitar. with the vocals.
There it is. So, so impressive. Again, it's that step up from phase one. Like phase one is insanely good. And then it just comes in with the phase two out of nowhere. And it's like phase one was nothing compared to this. They have done such a good job at keeping phase one in phase two, but still changing it enough for it to be its own thing. And it's... Ah, oh, just so impressive. So traveling out of Leo into Inazuma now, this is your spoiler warning. If you haven't made it to Inazuma, I would highly, highly advise you stop here because honestly, the music that we're gonna listen to now is some of the best in the game, in my opinion. This is my favorite of all time. So I highly advise that to avoid Story spoilers for one, you stop, and obviously music spoilers <laughs> for two. If you haven't heard these yet and you haven't got to them, I highly advise you listen to them during your playthrough because it makes it well worth it when you get there. Now this is the final region as of uploading this video. Obviously there are gonna be more added in the future. So if you wanna see me react to the future regions, let me know below. The first one coming up from Inazuma is gonna be Senoras. Now this is my favorite theme in all of Genshin. Senoras is is my favorite out of all the music in Genshin. I have listened to this endless times outside of playing the game. I love it so much. Now, first we'll listen to phase one, but phase two is for me is my favorite. So we'll listen to phase one first, and then like with the others, we'll listen to phase two. Beautiful. Just very good use of the instruments. Again with that icy theme, since so she is cryo, she well she has a cryo delusion. That's it. The vocals in this is why it's my favorite. It's so impressive. It's so impressive. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Oh, goosebumps. It's... It's so, it's just beautiful. Oh, 
it's so good. What I love about that as well is similar to the Abyss Herald is the storytelling around it. Now, the quote that she says before you fight her is, you know, may we share this last dance and it is very dance, you know, elegant. It's, like I said, cryo themed as well. It's very icy. It's absolutely beautiful. And I know with her music as well, I've seen a lot of people say it links very heavily to her lore. So if you want me to look at Signora's Law, for example, I can get a proper feel for how her music plays into her character. Let me know, I can definitely do that. Up next is gonna be phase two of her music, and this is my favorite track in the entire game. As I said before, with the whole phase two kicks it up a notch, this just blows everything out of the water. Just the heavy hitting and the reveal in the story to who Signora is, it's just Ah, oh. and then vocals. That drum and bass is back. Ah. Oh. You guys better be jamming to this as well. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, you go on that guitar, let's go. Beautiful vocals. And the piano as well. I love that, how they slowly lead it back in. Beautiful. Goosebumps every time. So impressive. Ah, uh, bravo. I uh... Unbelievably good. Unbelievably good. Can we appreciate this game is free? You can consume that music, that boss fight, that story for free. The effort that's gone into that is just next level. Okay, next up and last but certainly not least is gonna be the Raiden Shogun's theme. Now there is two again to this, however, it's slightly different because I don't think it's a phase one, phase two. I think it's a situation of the first time and the second time. So we're gonna listen to the first time and then the second time. I love how electronic this sounds. With that Inazuma theme, I love it. This is so well done.
with that electric theme as well. You got the electric in there. I like that they kept this simplistic as well. That's the first time you obviously face the Raiden Shogun and it's it's simplistic but effective and I really love that for the first time they keep it that way because it's short, it's sweet, it shows the atmosphere that you're in, it's fast paced, it's intense, it's very focused. I think that's what that shows in, in my opinion is the fact that they keep it simple but fast makes it seem more focused on what you're doing and that's definitely fitting with the situation that you're in in the story. So finally we have the second time you fight the Raiden Shogun which is the final time and this goes off if I remember correctly and I absolutely love the development on phase two. It's the rematch is what it's called. It's not not called phase two, but let's have a listen to this one. I remember not getting to listen to this properly because of how focused I was. Straight away. Keeping that theme in there. Being the Archon, you've got to keep the theme in there. Getting that menacing effect. makes it feel less focused and more like a dance. Like you're in rhythm with it now, you know? You're, you're dancing with her, you're... Because the fight does become easier as you go through it. Very nice. This is a detail I missed, I think. At least I don't remember it. I do not remember this. Okay. Oh, beautiful. 
I am so glad I got to listen to that one again because I don't remember most of that. I remember the, the general theme of it, but that end there was absolutely awesome. Again, it's because you're so focused on the fights that you don't actually get to fully appreciate all of the sounds and the music and just the music as a whole. And I'm so happy that we got to go back and listen to all of that. With the Raiden Shogun's one, as I said, that phase one, it keeps you in that focused mindset. You know, it's fast paced, it's a tense situation because it's so and you're suddenly like, oh my word, I'm fighting an Archon. You know, I'm fighting a god. I don't know what I'm doing. This is, you know, everything is going so quickly. The music helps you hone in on the situation. Whereas in phase two or the rematch, it's less focus based and more of a dance. You know, at the beginning, it's, it's a hyped up version of the focused effect of, okay, here we go, round two, it's time to go in again, but this time I know what to expect, we've we've trained for this. But then you have the confidence boost from the story and it becomes more of a dance than a focus. You're more like, I'm dodging this, I'm dodging that. You obviously get what you get in the fight for the story and it just, it's so well told. They did such a good job with all of them. But I do hope you guys enjoyed me reacting to all of the boss music. Let me know down in the comments which one out of these was your favorite. I'll leave the playlist and obviously the Herald music down below so you guys can listen to it for yourself without me talking over it. I appreciate you as always. I will see you this Sunday for the stream. Have a wonderful rest of your day, guys. I hope to see you next time. Goodbye, my friends.